All they wanted was the cash machine. But there wasn't much left of this post office in Litchfield after they dragged it out using a car. This gang repeated the trick again and again across the Midlands over a period of 11 months. Here they are dragging an ATM from the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Birmingham. And often in these shops, the staff were cowering inside. The car like reversed up onto the grass um, and it was quite late at night um, and it was basically when the men all jumped out of the car realised what was going on, the way they were dressed um, and one of them had a crowbar, I knew there was a robbery on the shop. It was terrifying, it really was. I mean, even now, like if, if weird cars pull up, I do sort of still get those flutters, like that, that feeling that something bad's going to happen, um, that they might try and hurt me. The gang of five were locked up today for sentences ranging for five to more than eight years. Craig Matthews was the common thread involved in every one of the raids. The court heard today of a prolific offending history dating back to 1997. Here Matthews is conducting what the prosecution called reconnaissance, though it was not always all right on the night. Here the gang had to leave their prize behind. Not before giving it a good kicking, though. At this convenience store in Chelmsley Wood in Birmingham, the gang drove down a footpath to reach their target. They even removed a section of these railings to do so. An example of the detailed planning that the judge said today elevated these crimes from simple commercial theft to conspiracy. They are absolutely brazen in, the, in their tactics. They, they wear masks, but they're also willing to have their faces shown. Um, they are conducting reconnaissance missions to hospitals. They've looked at them weeks before. They've then targeted them. So it's highly sophisticated um, by an organised crime group um, that are experienced in this type of crime. And we have invested significantly over the last two or three years. We've seen this unprecedented rise in ATM crime. We've invested in things like uh, alarms, CCTV, but also some new innovative technologies such as uh, dye or glue, uh, which renders the notes useless. The total haul across all the raids was almost £275,000, which split five ways and spread out over the years they must now spend inside, doesn't even come close to minimum wage. Callum Watkinson, ITV News.